the reality is, is that to become conscious, you have to pay attention. So that's what we're doing now. And we invite you all to pay attention to everything all around. As Shiva says, I am everywhere, infusing everything to finally become absorbed in intense experience. Go all the way. Be drenched in the energies of life. Enter the world beyond separation. So let's do our toward the one to our inner selves, greeting all of these parts of us, the ones that are troublesome to us at times, and also all those beautiful ones that support us and help us to go on our path. Toward the one, the perfection of love, harmony and beauty, the only being. United with, with all the illuminated souls who form the embodiment of the Master, the message, the mystery, the miracle, the Mother, the Spirit of Guidance. And to all of our soul work friends here, toward the One, the perfection of love, harmony, and beauty, the only being united with all the illuminated souls who form the embodiment of the master the message the mystery the miracle the mother the spirit of guidance and finally to the whole world and as we do the whole world we'll pause just for a moment on illuminated souls and really call down our particular illuminated souls that we hold in our in our hearts toward the one the perfection of love harmony and beauty the only being united with all the illuminated souls who form the embodiment of the Master, the message, the mystery, the miracle, the Mother, the Spirit of Guidance. And out loud, I just want to call upon uh, and give thanks for, for um, Pierre Moynadine, Jablonski, and Mershida Marianne Baker, both of which Without them, we wouldn't be here in this way. So let's go into our attention, that place of finding attention. I love what the angel Gabriel said to Mary. Kumbayis mala, be, be your unique self and unite with the light. And so we say that to everything that we see. And we begin to feel our feet on the floor and we're connected into the earth breath, breathing in and out through the nose. And we're saying it to the soil. Maybe we can even see outside around us and we can see the soil and we say Kumbayisma La to you. And we say it to all of the in all of the many organisms that live there and to the bones of the ancestors. Kumbayisma La. And we say it to the rocks and the minerals Kumbayis and the stones, Kumbayis Mala, Kumbayis Mala. And we say it Kumbayis to all of the four leggeds, Kumbayis Mala. And to all of the humans, Kumbayis Mala. We say it to the beautiful plant world, Kumbayis Mala. And to the trees, Kumbayis Mala. And we say it to all of the structures built with all of these different forms. Our houses, Kumbayis Mala, Kumbayis Mala, all the temples, the places of beauty, Kumbayis Mala. Mm, and we say it to our own bodies, 
to wake them up. We say kumbayisma la to the muscles and the bones and the ligaments. Kumbayisma la. As we're really touching the floor, touching Mother Earth. And we begin to breathe deeply and bring the energy from the Earth. Inhaling and exhaling. Bringing in that energy. Deep, rich, full breaths. And then letting go with each exhale. Mm, scoop it up, all that beautiful energy from the earth, that sturdiness. Mm, that centeredness. Feel it. Feel it in your own body and the way that your feet touch the floor and let your body stretch so that you can feel those muscles you're saying kumbayis malatu. Breathing it deeply and stretching. Finding all of those places that your body says, oh, I want to stretch. I need your attention. <clears throat> Stretching in your hips and your hip sockets. <clears throat> Stretching your legs <clears throat> all the way out through the toes. <clears throat> Stretching your back. And your sides. And stretching your neck. Stretching our shoulders. And stretching all the way to the tip of our head, our, our, our crowns, very top of our heads from our toes. Reaching for the heavens and reaching to the earth. Reaching to the heavens and reaching to the earth. Feeling all of the body waking up, saying hello, and let yourself pat your entire body, continuing to breathe in deeply through the nose, and then letting go with each exhale making sure that every part gets noticed, the bottoms of your feet, your ankles, your knees, thighs. Your first and second chakra, your sits bone. Thank you, beautiful body. And even those parts that don't like our body, we say, oh, I understand you. You just want to make everything perfect, but we are, we're good enough. Mm, all the way up, having all the way to the back. As much as we can, we can pat that back. Mm, the back of our necks, the front of our necks. Mm, our faces. Mm. And then just really breathing in a couple of deep, rich, full breaths. And feeling our bodies, our whole bodies, what it's like to be here right now. And giving thanks for these bodies. And asking Earth to help us to really feel, 
to come into this attention, this presence of feeling, the support in our bodies, <clears throat> the clarity when things all let go. It's just seeing <clears throat> what is there. The strength. You can feel the muscles in your body and feel that strength and the centeredness. <clears throat> we thank you, body, and we also say we know those parts that make us feel like we can't really <clears throat> move, like we're either stuck or those parts that make us move way too fast. And right now we're just feeling that beautiful place of taking our time to be here in the body. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Mm. And we hum for a moment to the whole body with the sound of And letting go of the earth breath of all that focus right now and just letting ourselves come into the awareness of that steadiness in our own bodies when we pay attention. And we begin to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, the water breath. And really looking around either in our mind's eye to remember all these pieces of water or to really go in the directions of the water for you so that we're, we're really gonna swim in this water of Ishk. And so we're coming and we're going to sing to the water, Ishk, Allah, Mabud, Allah, Ishk. And we're singing to the legs, Mabud, Allah, Ishk, into the oceans, Mabud, Allah, and to the rivers, Ish, Allah, Mabud, and to the streams, Ish, Allah, Mabud, Allah, Ish, Allah, Mabud, Allah, and to all the animals that live in the water or live within the water, Allah, Ish. Swimming, Allah. just like the animals, my food. Allah, yish. Allah, my food. And all the algae and all the coral and the many plants that live in the water. Food. Allah. And all the insects that live in the water. My food. And many one-celled organisms. Allah. Mabud, Allah, breathing again in through the nose, out through the mouth, and you're breathing in, ish, Allah, and the exhale, and you're letting that water flow through your body, feel it coming down through your crown, and it it connects with the blood in your body and saying ish to that beautiful body, to that beautiful blood that circulates the water, the oxygen throughout, feeling the water in every cell, the, your own liquidity. Hmm.
and let yourself become like one of the creatures in the water. Let, with each breath in, let every part of your body begin to feel that flow. You can start down at your feet and feel the way in which your legs and your feet can flow. And can feel that sense of the blood coming through them, the water. And even though they have that sturdiness of earth, feel the flow in them too. And let encourage the legs, let them know you can let go, you can flow, you can just go with these beautiful waves of love. We know sometimes you get worried about supporting us and making everything be okay, but right now you can just go with the flow. This is a safe place. And feel that all the way up into your beautiful hips. Hips know how to go with the flow. Just let them turn and go back and forth all around. And saying to those hips, we understand if you get tight and pulled in and worried, we're here for you now. There's nothing you need to be concerned about. We're in a safe place. <clears throat> and we say to our own sensuality, our sexuality, you can go with the flow. Everything is fine. There's nothing you have to worry about right now. And enjoy. Enjoy the pleasure of this beautiful, watery sensuality. Be like the dolphins playing in the ocean. Yes, and then coming up all the way even into your solar plexus and letting this area, this belly, move and undulate. Sending it ish on every inhale, filling it with life force energy, letting these parts of us know that we they can, they don't have to be so concerned and worried about being so perfect and right. However, the body moves is good. It helps us to pay attention and get connected in to become more conscious. Feeling all those little muscles in our ribs as we move around in this torso area. Feeling them flow. Feeling our own waters in our heart flow as we let our heart move towards what it loves. Just you know, the heart is constantly longing, bringing us into connection, just letting that heart be pulled by what you love. Ooh. Making some beautiful ahs on the exhale. Oh. 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 those ahs in that sense of the beautiful unfolding of the water come all the way up into your shoulders, your upper arms, your upper chest, your upper back of your chest. Oh. 
We know you hold so many burdens, so many responsibilities, and we thank you for all those things you try to protect and keep hold of in our lives, but you can let go right now. Oh. <clears throat> Nothing to do, nowhere to go. <sighs> and then letting the water wash all the way down your arms, from the top of your shoulders, all the way down through your arms. Like you're taking this beautiful bath. And on your face, and the top of your head, and your, your neck. Back of your head, letting the water just wash down. Coming back to that beautiful water breath of just blowing out on that exhale. And feeling that way, the water helps us to just go with the flow. And we ask the water one last time as we raise our arms up into the sky. We say, use us for the purpose that thy wisdom chooses. Use us for the purpose that thy wisdom chooses. Use us for the purpose that thy wisdom chooses. And we come down into our bellies. We hold that belly for a moment. We hold our hearts. We root again, and we begin to breathe in through the mouth and out through the nose. It's a fire breath. And before we give thanks for the sun and the warmth and the energy all around us, I want to just feel that energy inside of us. And sometimes people feel the energy is tension. So feel any places that feel tense and maybe have that we hold anger or we hold frustration. Maybe it was difficult today or Zoom wasn't cooperating or whatever it is that happens and feel that energy that can come up of anger and frustration. We welcome those parts. We welcome them into the inhale of the fire breath and then we breathe you back out. We say, mmm, yeah, hi. Mm. You are the life force energy. So we breathe in a la nuri into all these places of tension and we breathe out a la hai. Thank you. Thank you for reminding us where we are. And we shake a little bit with that tension. Let ourselves shake in whatever area you can feel some of that tension. And we say, yeah. Yeah, all a high on the exhale. Mm -hmm. We shake it out. Shake it free. We're shaking ourselves free. So that we can really relax. Mm -hmm. Relax into this beautiful place of consciousness. All a nuri. All a high. Mm -hmm. Finding any place that feels tense and breathing into it. <clears throat> and saying, we're with you. You don't have to hold on so tight. It's all okay right now. <clears throat> we want to help you. <clears throat> to know we're here. We see you. We love you. <clears throat> And we say this to the sun, we see you, we love you. Allah nuri. Allah hai. Mm. And we radiate out just as the sun. 
shaking with all of our body to let in this beautiful energy all around us, the warmth. <clears throat> and letting go. <clears throat> we bring this energy into our throats. The heat, the love of the sun. <clears throat> Help us to speak our truth. <clears throat> Let go of any shame in what we've said. Mm. And throughout our whole bodies. You can nose speak. You can say the E through your nose as you exhale. <clears throat> to feel your own fire, your own heat that you just generated in connection with the sun, with the warmth, with the energy that is all around Yahai, <clears throat> that comes into us, Yamuhi. And now letting the breath come in and out through the mouth. And remembering that air, we say to the air, I surrender to you with every inhale, with every exhale. I'm surrendering to the oneness with you, air, to the wonder, wondrous experience of the sky and the clouds. Ya Allah in love, reverence, and humility. I surrender to you and to you alone, and thou thus raise us spiritually. Letting yourself surrender. Surrender into this beautiful air so that the air is inside and outside. Feel all the air that you have, all the space in every cell. We say to the birds, help us to surrender. Help us to know that beautiful perception that you have as you fly so high. Let our wings get caught on the air so that we are one with you, air. Breathing in, breathing out. We salute all the winged ones, even the winged insects, asking them to remind us of this way in which they live in oneness with the air. We 
Just every inhale, every exhale. We're united in this air. Breath, you're here with us. Feel the breath throughout the body. Any place there's space, you can feel it. And letting yourself come back down to earth, feeling your feet on the floor. Letting your breath just come into this open space of letting yourself be breathed. Still paying attention to the breath so that the breath doesn't just become lost or very, very small. Because in this way, you're staying consciously connected. But even in the consciousness, we can begin to feel those moments where there's no effort, where we can just let the breath come and the breath go. We can let our bodies sway back and forth or sit, whatever feels comfortable, and we can just really let the body tell us, how can you, I be supported right now? And we come into our hearts and we create with this beautiful air now and the intention is to create a huge space, a vast, beautiful place for us to all come and gather with ourselves, gather in the way of having a lot of space to be seen, to be heard, to be understood. So from this vast place in our heart, which could be a beautiful meadow or a wonderful temple, we may sit on grass or underneath a tree or on rugs, however it is that you see that in your mind's eye. Set up this beautiful place where there's nothing to do and nowhere to go so that all the rest of yourselves can relax. as you remain alert, conscious, and you ask your mind to gently flow downward into your heart. You can think of the beautiful zikr movement on il ala, where the mind comes down into the heart. Just letting it drop for a moment. The whole head. Letting the heart take over. Using the beautiful discrimination of the mind. Of all those parts of us that use the mind. And as we create this space, I'll let Raphael say the invocation and he can continue. O oh, Adorn, the perfection of love, harmony, and beauty, the only being united with all the illuminated souls, who form the embodiment of the master, the message, the mystery, the miracle, the mother, the spirit of guidance. And as you just rest safe, secure in the garden of your heart, this temple, this shrine, just bringing your attention to your breath flowing in and out. First thing is conscious self, bringing your awareness, your attention, your focus to your breath. 
just noticing this nice ritual inhalation and exhalation, perhaps in and out of the nose. Feeling it as a wave that flows through the body. Perhaps you notice it more at your nose or in your chest or abdomen or the whole body, but see if you can allow yourself to bring your attention to the experience of the wave of your breath flowing in and out. and continue to bring your attention to the sense of touch. And as you rest in the garden of the heart, just feel how you touch the outer world, the clothes that are on you, and either feet or your legs and buttocks touching the floor, the sofa, the meditation cushion, your skin touching the air, perhaps there's a breeze or warmth. Just bringing your attention to the sense of touch, one of the ways you meet the outer world. any selves or parts come in that are busy, just letting them know nothing to do, nowhere to go. They can just rest from that. And they can explore touch also with you. And then bringing your awareness, your attention, your focus to the sense of sound. Perhaps there's the sound of the breath, the heater, your breath, your heartbeat, sounds of birds outside, sounds of the wind, sounds of the furnace in your apartment or house. Just bringing your attention to the sense of sound, allowing healing to fill your attention. And then bringing your awareness <clears throat> to your nose, breathing in and out to the nose, to bringing this attention to any fragrance that might be in the room, any smells, any odors, just, just re, revisiting the nose, your sense of smell, which we take so for granted and touches into the most ancient parts of ourselves. And then perhaps letting the nose and the mouth open a little so the breath comes through both. But really sensing into your tongue where all the taste buds are for the five tastes. And bringing your attention to the sense of taste. Not eating right now, but feeling the saliva perhaps and any subtle taste in the mouth.
And then, as you're ready, gently, if you can, you can do it through closed or open eyes, but if you want, you can open your eyes. We're bringing our attention to our sense of sight, whether through closed or open eyes, really allowing light. Bring your attention to this quality of light. Then as this beautiful being of conscious self that can bring his or her or your attention to all these different senses, now just inviting yourself to bring your attention to all the senses, to just open to them all, to relax into all the senses. And we say lose your mind and come to your senses. Closing your eyes, going back to the garden of the heart, just resting in the heart space. And from this place, we really invite in high self with all love and all respect to come in, to meet us this morning for a time of communion, a time of guidance, or perhaps a time of dialogue. And just bringing your awareness as you're gently receptive to this the angel of your being, your animal ally, the beloved, the source, in whatever shape, form. But high self, we can become aware of high self through all the senses. So take a moment to just feel the presence of high self. of touch and being touched by high self and the energy of high self. And then is there a fragrance to high self? taste. Do you have a visual image of high self? If so, just allow that to open. And is there a sound or words coming to you from high self? And really touched, being held, feeling the presence of high self. As you open to whatever senses, whatever ways you're aware of high self, and just opening to whatever guidance, direction for you on your path right now to deepen into this connection, this immersion in the richness of life outside and the richness of life inside.
then just really dropping into the breath of unity with myself and any other selves that may have been watching, just really joining together this inner communion of breath, of attention. May all the selves be aware of high self and you. Amy, we are here. And then, with all love and respect, we bring this morning's soul work to a close, bowing to all the selves, making the sacred sound clear. Mm -hmm.